Before uh, we see the results, in term, before we formalize the model and see the results, let's gonna to recall uh, uh, all the assumptions we are uh, doing it uh, today. Well, we are dealing with uh, a model where the uh, utility discount rate, uh, or uh, we'll see later we'll, when we'll interpret this as the market interest rate, are constant over time, so they don't uh, uh, they don't change across the the period of interest. We are a fixed level of stock uh, uh, of the uh, natural resources, and we know how much this uh, stock uh, uh, is. Uh, the demand curve is identical at each point in time. So in the in the terminology we used uh, uh, on the last lesson, the utility depend from uh, consumption, but not consumption, from extraction of the natural resources here. And this extraction of natural resources change with time. So utility depends from times, but it doesn't depend directly from time. The way that the utility depend from uh, from the extraction of natural resources remain uh, remain constant and this is because the demand curve remain constant at each moment in in time and uh, because we are uh, um, assuming that there is a, a price at which the demand become uh, zero we are implicitly uh, assuming that the existence of a backstop uh, technology or that the resource is not uh, essential. We are not considering taxation of suicide, but we will uh, uh, consider this later uh, uh, today. Uh, also, we are not considering externalities by extraction or consumption of the resources, but we will see this not today, but on the next lesson. And uh, we keep uh, marginal extraction cost constant so we don't have uh, the extraction cost as depending from the stock and uh, uh, well the fact that no technological change of preference change happens this is something implicit when we say that the demand curve is uh, is a constant in terms of the table that describe the uh, optimal control theory for the resolution of the problem we are still within the case of uh, uh, having defined the terminal state as we need uh, uh, the stock of uh, natural resource to be completely ex exhausted at the end of the planning period and uh, we have uh, the time uh, uh, where this will happen as an endogenous factor so we are still within uh, let's say this column here so compared with the problem we saw uh, in the previous uh, uh, lessons we have only one state variable and one control variable Hence, the Hamiltonian is a bit uh, uh, simple, and in particular, the co-state variables is only one, the price of the uh, natural resource, and uh, the adjoint equation that describes the, um, the dynamic of, the, um, of, uh, of this price is, uh, is given uh, in uh, these terms when we uh, replace the generic terminology that is employed here with our specific uh, uh, model. From the adjoint equations, that is from the equation of motion of the co-state variable, after we consider that this one is, is zero, we retrieve our now well-known uh, hoteling rules that state that the rate of growth of, uh, of the net price must be equal to the social utility discount rate rule. Then from the first order conditions in, re in relation to the, uh, to the control variable extraction of, of the resource, tell us the second conditions that the marginal utility of uh, uh, extraction of the resource must be equal to the net price. Then we can 
consider that in general, this is the formula for uh, actualization of a value and in particular of price given a grow rate uh, uh, gamma. But uh, our grow rate, or the hotel rule tell us that our grow rate is exactly rho. So we can replace rho here and the hotel rules can be stated in uh, these equivalent terms. That is that the price at any given moment in times must be equal to an actualization of the initial price by the social utility discount rate or equivalently that uh, the discounted uh, value of, uh, uh, of price at any moment in time must be constant and equal to the initial uh, price. If you consider that the marginal utility also is equal to price, we can just replace this one here and, uh, and state that is also the discounted value of the marginal utility that must remain uh, constant.